Hello everybody, this is Mark, and today we are going to be talking about Reddit. I believe we talked about Reddit before, but I wanted to go over how you can use Reddit to come up with product ideas. Now, you can use Reddit for other ideas as well. You can even use Reddit as a social media platform. But um, at this point, we are going to be focusing on just how to use it for product ideas. And if you listen to Tom at all, which you should, he always really promotes information products. He really wants information products. He really believes that uh, they're, they're one of the easiest products to make. And people are always looking for information on how to do something. And that's pretty apparent when you actually go into Reddit. So let's take a look at Reddit. I'm going to show you a couple areas and how we can use them to get some ideas for information products and and then uh, we'll take it from there okay okay so if you guys want to follow along that's that's fine if you just want to watch this and then watch the replay later and go to reddit on your own that is fine as well okay so first off here we are at reddit it's r-e-d-d-i-t dot com when you first go to reddit you're gonna see just a bunch of links here they're gonna look different than this i mean they're gonna look the same but they might be different links than these exact specific links um i'll explain these in a second i will also wanted to show you that we have these little areas up top here now i'm logged in let me log out show you exactly what you will see if you're logged out pretty much the same thing you're gonna see um, a bunch of links. Now these links are provided by other people, people on the internet. If you find something cool and you want to share it with a bunch of people, you can bring it to Reddit, submit the link, and if people like it, they will give you an up arrow. It's like voting. They will upvote your uh, link. If they don't like it, they will downvote it. And you can see here that there's numbers next to the, the most popular links. So the more upvotes, the higher to the front page of Reddit you will get. Now, Reddit got so big and popular that they had to break Reddit into subreddits, which are just little more nichified topics that people can go to, and maybe uh, the people like cars. So there would be a car subreddit. So people can find many cool car websites and car links, and they can uh, submit that link to the car subreddit and uh, then other car people will go visit that subreddit and if they like your link they will vote on it then whoever has like the top most car subreddit posts whoever makes it to the top of that might also appear on the front page because the front page is just a big mix it's a big feed of uh, everything now when you log in if you are logged into uh, reddit then your feed your home page your front page can be customized it can be customized to um, to only the topics that you are interested in and well all you need to do is you just need to basically browse through click a bunch of things on reddit click a bunch of links on reddit and you will see like these little sub reddits i don't know if you can see that very well but it'll say forward slash r funny funny is a subreddit forward slash r gaming is a subreddit pics pictures is a a subreddit today I learned nice interesting things about what people have learned so there's many 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 subreddits I don't even know all of them there's some are private but there are so many and there's so many nicheified ones that it can it's gonna be a just a giant vast amount of information that you can use so I'm gonna log in here uh, one of my uh, logins really quickly here And when I log in, all of my results uh, in my feed are personalized to the subreddits that I like. Now, how does Reddit know um, what subreddits I like? Well, I have to go around and find some. So if I like this Canada Day one, I know that it's in the subreddit picks, our picks. So I can click that. And if you look at the link here, now it says reddit.com forward slash r forward slash picks. We are in that subreddit. Now let's say I really like all the links in here and I want to be notified when somebody posts another one. 
Well, that's easy. All I need to do is subscribe. It's just like following on Twitter. It's just like friending on fa Facebook. And it's just like subscribing on YouTube. You can subscribe to this subreddit. If I subscribe to this subreddit, let me, I'm going to do it. I'll subscribe. And it, I'm subscribed. That's it. If I want to unsubscribe, I can click the unsubscribe. And that's it. I'm done. Now, if I scroll up to the top, I have a little area here that says my subreddits. If I click my subreddits, I should see the one that I just subscribed to. And there it is, up at the top. So um, if you look at the tabs up at the top, it provided that subreddit up in the top. Other not so popular subreddits will show up in the My Subreddit area. And also, it's also there on the left hand side as well, in both areas. Okay? So I'm going to go back to that subreddit, and I'm just going to unsubscribe, and it's as easy as that. So if I go back here, it's not in my subreddits anymore, and it's not at the top of my menu area. All right, so I'm going to go back to the front page. The front page, again, is my feed. It's for me. It's, um, it's all dedicated to me, and I usually check this on you know, a daily basis. But where can I get ideas for products? Okay, so, uh, so here's what we can do. Well, first off, there are many subreddits where people ask questions. They simply type a question and they wait for other Redditors to, um, to answer and give them help. So this is fantastic because if you go and read through some of these subreddits, you can see specific questions that people need answers to. And if you can answer these, that's even better. So let me show you an example here. Um, ask Reddit. That is another sub category in Reddit that is all questions. If you have a question, you can ask it right here. You can even search. So if I, again, wanted to have a car product, I could maybe search cars. And when I search, it would narrow it down to subreddits that I might be interested in. And it also tries to give me the best results it can think of in all um, subreddits. I'm going to back up just a bit to the main ask reddit. Okay. So here's what I do. I read through what some of these questions are. They're not all great, but uh, what are some of the mo must watch comedy movies? Okay. Well, let's say I wanted to make a book, an ebook, a quick ebook this weekend on the top 50 must watch comedies. Well, here we go. Let's take a look and see what other people are answering. Well, this person that asked the question said, wow, my laptop is full. Thanks for the recommendations. Okay, so here we go. So somebody just said Wayne's World. Boom. So what I would do is I would copy that, put that in my list of uh, a chapter in my book. Blazing Saddles. Okay, that's a great movie. There's number two. Other people said Office Space. Yeah, I like Office Space. And then you can even see what people replied. So this person said Office Space. The next person below it said, I saw it before my first desk job out of college. I can't believe how accurate it is. And um, somebody said, uh, I can't. I've never seen this. And then um, uh, somebody's like, I can't believe you've never seen this. So Monty Python. So anyway, this is a, oh, well, look at this. Here's a list. And they even did it by subgenre. So this person went out of their way to make a giant list that if I wanted to, I could just copy. And of course, I would put it in my own words. But I could make each one of these a page. In my book wow they did a lot of work for me and I just have to add the content make it into an ebook and upload it to Kindle and you know maybe I'll have a couple sales off of that anyway that's one uh, what is the most heartbreaking moment in a film so Valentine's Day is coming up at some point you could do the 50 biggest heartbreaks the 20 biggest heartbreaks uh, how to deal with heartbreaks uh, and then you could use film uh, examples uh, let's see what's the sun let's see. I'm trying to find another one. Okay, broke people have read it. You have $10 and need to make dinner for yourself uh, in a date. What do you get at the grocery store? Hey, I got an idea for a cookbook now. $10 meals. So um, at least 273 people commented. So maybe there's some other suggestions. Okay, so for my $10 meals book, <laughs> somebody said condoms and wine. That's funny. That's not a good one, but you could at least um, add some humor in there. Okay. 10 bucks. Uh, noodles and tomato sauce. Great. Boom. So there's one recipe that you could quickly whip up. Chicken sausage is a, a never a, a bad choice. You forgot bread. So um, so there we go. Now I could make a cookbook for, for under $10 meals if I wanted to. 
Um, okay, now see this, all I'm doing here is I'm just quickly brainstorming. Uh, this is if I had no product idea whatsoever, I could simply just go to this uh, area and see what, um, what are the most popular because uh, somebody could ask a question and it might not be very popular. No problem. I'm still in this ask Reddit subreddit area. And you can even see the mo the newest questions that people are uploading right now. This one was just uploaded today, so you could be the or right now, so you could upload. You could be the first one to answer this question. Um, you can see rising ones, the ones that are new, and some and people are uh, are upvoting. Uh, and then controversial means that there's a lot of conversations going uh, going on. So uh, what jobs exist purely because people are fat? Oh, controversial. So are you looking for a controversial article that you might want to put on your website? If you are a weight loss website, this could be really information, really important information, really good beefy information. Um, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. People grew up in the 90s. What is one thing that will always represent that era? 1,880 people commented about growing up in the 90s. Um, maybe some sort of nostalgia product, maybe some sort of nostalgia book. Even if you'd had your own product, whatever it is, consulting, life coaching, maybe you could put a 90s spin on it, you know? Um, and uh, and maybe you would want to get into toy collecting for the 90s, from the 90s. Uh, I bet there's many people that will, you know, pinball game, boom, the first one is a toy. Okay. Uh, uh, so, again, I'm doing that stuff, again, where I'm just kind of brainstorming. But let's say we want to be a little bit more specific. Uh, let's say I have, a, I have my, you know, uh, my expertise is I'm going to come up with auto. Uh, no, I don't want to do auto. Let's do uh, hmm. I was going to say basket weaving. Let's do knitting, okay? Knitting. So I'm going to go back to the main, main, main page of Reddit, just to back out of the little ask subreddit. And there is a search bar right here. And so I can type in any term, any keyword I want. So I'm going to look up knitting. And when you search, again, when you search, this is going to, this is going to provide you with First off, narrower results. So it says too many results, you can narrow it down. So we have a subreddit called knitting, but then we have one for not the hardcore knitters, maybe casual knitting. Uh, then there's some that aren't 100% related, funny, baby bumps. Uh, crochet is kind of related to knitting. So we have 529 different results in crochet. Um, yarn addicts. Okay, so this, these are people that love yarn. Then there's crafting. Then there's... Um, uh, G knitting, which I don't even know what that is. And there's Etsy. So if people um, have a product or they want to sell their products on Etsy, there's a whole subreddit about Etsy. And I'm sure there is great um, advice as to how to sell your products and, and more just in the Etsy subreddit. Let's scroll down and see what these results are. And so what there's what they're going to sort by, you can change the sorting as well, but it's going to sort these results by relevance. You can do the hot ones, the top, the newest uh, knitting related posts um, or the ones with the most comments. Um, you can also sort by the uh, since Reddit was born within the last 24 hours. So if you want some uh, you know, really hot stuff, week, month or year. Um, and I'm going to search by comments because I want to see the ones that are most commented on. So here we go. So first on transfer, yeah, this one's about gunners. I don't know what that is. See, it has must have something to do with knitting in these comments. And so it's a little bit not as specific. So that didn't really help me out too much. That's okay. I'm going to go back to relevance because I want knitting. And let's see what we have. So unpopular knitting opinions. Well, if you were really big into knitting, you probably would want to read about what other people's uh, negative opinions about knitting and then you could answer. You could, again, create, uh, you could put these answers in a product of yours. Um, just things to really consider when it comes to information. Uh, does anyone else get mad when someone is knitting in a movie and they're not? Okay, that's more humorous. Uh, knitting frustrations. What is some of your biggest knitting frustrations? Uh, that would be a fantastic book. You know, how to avoid any knitting frustration. Do you have this one? Do you have this one? Here's knitting do's and don'ts. Knitting don'ts. That's great. 101. So you could copy, take that, cop, combine it with the, the frustration book, and there you go. Or a webinar or a video. I'm just saying book, but really uh, any sort of content. So you could do a whole YouTube series on knitting. One week you just cover 
one of the don'ts. Next week, the next don't. The next week, the next don't. There's a ton of content there. You could whip that into a videos and put it behind a membership site and sell that. You could put it on a CD. Uh, knitting would be tough to do on a CD, but I'm sure you could. You know what I'm saying. Um, quotes about knitting. Um, nude and knitting. So you can, you know, see uh, help out newbies. I'm sure you can learn something. So much more. Uh, what's the most interesting reaction from knitting? I don't know if you can think of a product with that, but... This really kind of gets the juices flowing. I mean, I, I've just come up with four ideas, mostly books, but, you know, videos, membership sites, CDs can all be uh, com can all be at least merged together from the information that you find on Reddit. Um, I also use it to find news. Okay, so look, there's a, there's a subreddit called World News, and there's a subreddit called News. News is more uh, American news, and then World News, obviously, is Amer uh, World News. So if I click on World News, um, you will see the, the top, mo uh, top popular links. Uh, and look at this. Almost 4,000 people upvoted this. Australia's largest woodlands will not be protected from mining. Um, this is a hot topic right now, obviously, because almost 4,000 people, at least it's very hot in Australia. If you're Australian or if you have Australian customers or if you're around the world, you might want to mention an article if you can spin it towards your niche. So, th again, this is not just uh, product ideas at this point, but content ideas. Uh, now, let's say we want to go a little bit more uh, just uh, in America. So I'm going to do more news. And so it's about, uh, you know, police shootings and uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump's a big name right now, so you can tell when this video is made. Um, uh, Walmart. Uh, Girl Scouts is a big one. So if you had Girl Scouts in one of your tags and some of your keywords, you could be riding this Girl Scout storm. This is a big one. Um, free speech in Ferguson still. Oklahoma. Teachers. Uh, bodybuilding. So, again, this is... a giant vast network of information it's also generated by its users it's user generated by the people by people every day and so this changes all the time every day every hour every minute um and you can i mean i i, I just cannot keep talking about all the praises i have for reddit also just to learn some new things as well you know that there is um i have a, there's a whole youtube subreddit so i love reading youtube because i can see what's going on people keep asking questions about youtube all the time and i go in and answer them and, and other times i make mental notes oh that's a good idea i should put that in my next book we also have um marketing there's ask marketing marketing there's small business marketing there's um there's startups, there's entrepreneurs, there's small business, and, and these are all great just wells of uh, information that, um, that you really should take advantage of, okay? So anyway, that's just a really quick, broad overview of Reddit. Uh, really, if you are serious about Reddit, you can kind of lose your day on Reddit as well, but if you're serious about Reddit... It really helps to just kind of poke around and get a feel for what's going on. And uh, the more you kind of dig around and poke around, um, you're going to find some pretty neat stuff, I think. Okay, so feel free to ask me any questions. Um, I will be having a replay for this available. And if you need to, you can always email me and I'll get back to you. So thanks, guys. Go check out Reddit and I'll talk to you soon.